Okay guys, it's 12.30 in the morning. It's technically Tuesday, July 21st, and I'm awake and getting ready to travel. What is, what's this? Getting ready to travel. Um, I didn't get really a lot of sleep leading up to this. I got about 20 minutes and then I tossed and turned for the rest of the time, so I'm actually feeling pretty tired yet still not able to sleep. I thought I would try for like 30 more minutes and I just laid there and decided, you know what, this is stupid, I'm not going to fall asleep. So there's a good chance I'll pull over at some point um, on the drive and take a nap. But anyway, we're getting ready to start this big summer road trip adventure PCH tour, whatever you want to call it. I'm up, uh, my burrito just dinged, so I'm going to eat that and do some stuff to get ready and load the car and head on out of here. Yay! Excited! Good morning, adventurers! Actually, it's not a good morning because I am only in Wyoming and it is 6 o'clock and I left Longmont at 3.30 in the morning. There is no reason that it should have taken me two hours to get out, but I sat on 25 for an hour and a half stopped and for 30 minutes before that on 66 so I don't know what the deal is but I know that I'm pretty upset about it um, so per the huge my trip is not starting without a hitch I did intend to leave even before 3 30 but my sleep patterns are weird right now and I couldn't like figure it out and I'm exhausted now still anyway and don't know what it's gonna be like once I get to Sawtooth because I'm going to get there too late for any kind of hiking to take place and possibly even too late for me to care about setting up camp and there's a really good possibility that I will just sleep right in the back seat of the car because I have a feeling I'm going to get there close to 8 or 9 o'clock tonight and if I wasn't charged a huge penalty for canceling my reservation I wouldn't even bother. Um, so anyway the sun's rising here in Wyoming and uh, I'm a little irritated but I'm not going to let it get me down because we're doing this. quite a bit of driving. I'm so happy that I'm finally in Idaho because that means I'm so much closer and I ended up making pretty decent time after all. I mean I'm still gonna get there like early evening but not as late as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so now I'm just on a mission to find food because effing after you leave Little America there's nothing. That is like the end. Little America and then you drop off the face of the earth. So hopefully Idaho will provide me with some food pretty soon. Um, yeah! so so tired but it is so beautiful let me show you where we are what I think is really cool is that I pulled up and there's my name yay I'm all checked in this is the side the campsite with optional tent or car camping and the guy just told me that it's going to drop down to like 40 tonight so I might want to sleep in my car for warmth. There's the fire pit but I won't be um, starting any fires tonight because I'm pretty freaking tired so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna set up the tent right there and see how that goes first um, and then I'm gonna read and do some writing and uh, check out where this right here goes 
and then I'm probably gonna crash as soon as the sun goes down. Um, luckily the bathrooms are right there. I don't know if you can see them through the trees. I lucked out on that one. I didn't even try that. But those are the bathrooms right there. So that's convenient. But look how beautiful, you guys. Like, what a way to start this journey. I'm beat, but this is worth it. Look. Oh, love it. Here it is, guys. All set up with my chair and everything. Um, and now I'm going to see where this goes. I'm just going to walk a little bit. I didn't even change my shoes. I just need to... I just need to move my body from being in the car for so long. Although I probably should change my shoes in case there's poison ivy in here. I don't see any. Oh, I don't want to change my shoes. Anyway, let's see where this goes, shall we? This is the view from inside my tent. I got in because it was chilly out there and even though I've changed into pajamas, because yes I do that even when I'm camping, it's still a little bit chilly. It's pretty nice in here though, even though the mesh isn't covered yet, um, it does a really good job of keeping out the chill because I'm pretty comfortable now. I was reading for a little bit. Um, and I'm just really starting to fall asleep now. I'm pushing it to stay awake because I kind of want to watch the sunset and see the stars in the sky. But I am so tired, you guys. Like, I've actually kind of been up since about 7.30 yesterday. I tried to go to sleep or maybe it was 8. I tried to go to sleep around 6.30 or so and I only slept for about 20 minutes and then could not fall back to sleep again the rest of the night. I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried and then I was so exhausted by the time it was time to go that that's what ended up making me late because then I was moving really slowly when in reality I probably should have just left at like 10 last night because I was wide awake and I could have just napped when I got tired later. Anyway, the point is that I'm really tired and my body is so tired and hurts so much and I did walk around a little bit but I didn't go on a hike because it was already kind of late 
but I think tomorrow morning I'm going to try and hike or maybe do some yoga right here at the campsite or something because my body needs something. It's like not okay after being in that car for like 14 hours and then I still have to drive. I think it's seven or eight hours tomorrow to get to the place that I'm staying at Mount Rainier. So, but I am hiking Rainier, so at least that's gonna happen. Um, before it gets really dark, I just thought I would say that this is the end of day one and it was a pretty crazy day of driving and a lot of stuff happening at the beginning of the day that was making me very upset. Um, but as the day progressed, it got better and now I'm here and it's just so beautiful and like so quiet, but you can hear the water like rushing and I don't know, it's just it's perfect. It's everything that I wanted it to be so far. So that's a good sign. That's it guys. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Bye. Alright guys, I'm making it an early morning, but I wanted to show you this.